Well, Mike, tell me about a, um, a defining game for you guys this year as a team. What, what game might you kind of single out for, for Fenwick football this year? Uh, it's got to be 100% St. Mary's. Um, great team, ton of athletes on that team. Uh, as you know, went into double overtime. We won 26 to 20 with a great touchdown by Anthony Nichols. That was a whole team win. Not one person on that team. Um, it wasn't just one person on our team. Yeah. I'd have to say for sure. It was everybody. Everyone played all four quarters. We made mistakes. They made mistakes. We just happened to capitalize on this. Um, you know, it's a rivalry game as well for the seniors. Yeah. I know for myself. Um, you know, it was an absolute great feeling. There was nothing like it. Um, I remember running over to my mom, you know, one of, one of the best. It's got a, I don't think anything's going to top it other than a Super Bowl win. All right. Luke, how about yourself? Would you pick the same game? I would either pick that game or I would pick Bishop Fian, just because the impact on the loss that took on us really helped develop us, made us angry in the playoffs, and really helped us, I would say, dominate the last two opponents. No, that's a good insight. Sometimes the, the games that you lose are, are obviously uh, defining games as well. So I think you've probably nailed both of those games for sure. Well, guys, tell me about, uh, you know, people say games are won and lost on the line. So uh, I don't know how you sleep at night, you guys. Uh, but anyways, uh, but they're won and lost on the line. So what was, uh, Mike, what was the toughest line that you guys faced this year? Uh, it would have to be Bishop Fian. They got a bunch of, you know, talented, big, big kids over there. Um, Coach Dugan, I gotta hand it to him. He had a great defensive plan to beat. Um, us being undersized, you know, I think the largest D lineman we have is uh, William Gibbs, and then second would be me or Luke. And all those kids double or triple us in height and weight. Um, but, you know, they had a great defensive line as well. Same kids, but it's, you know, like the old saying, it's not about size, it's about the heart. I truly believe that, and that was a game in which it showed. Luke, how about yourself? Is that the game, the team? Yeah, yeah, I would say it was that team overall. One of the best players also was definitely Tommy Falasco was very good on St. Mary's. He was very dominant. He had a similar size to me and Difa, but I would have to say Bishop Fee and overall their line was very big. Finally, I want you guys to maybe give a shout out to one of your teammates, either uh, or teammates, plural, on the offense, defensive line. Luke, who would you shout out to? A couple of them. Um, I think I would shout out Troy Rizari. He is just a phenomenal D end. He's been the backbone of our defense, carrying the outside sweep. And then even on offense, you know, just a big, strong running back, helping us get the touchdowns that we need in order to win the games and get to where we are at this moment. Mike, how about you? Uh, Troy, definitely, as well as uh, we got rotating in D tackles. So uh, Mikey Geisler, we also have Luke and William Gibbs. So, you know, Lyman I definitely, you know, overlooked. So I want to take my opportunity to shout out them. You know, definitely they've done a great job against a lot of good teams. So we wouldn't have been able to do it without them.